Hey guys, it's Michael from Plan Academy. Listen, it's been a little while since we published a video, but we're back. A lot of things have happened since we started this series on Primavera P6 settings. Uh, number one, we moved into a brand new office. Number two, we set up a brand new studio and I'm actually recording, this is one of the first videos that we're recording from our new studio. So there's some great things brewing and great things coming here uh, from Plan Academy studios. So today I want to cover this project level setting. It's called recalculate actual units and cost when duration percent complete changes. Let's talk about it. Okay. So I've got this project PA office nine, it's open and here's the setting on the calculations tab of that project. I want to demonstrate what this setting does. So let's dive into the activities of the project. Okay. Let's go for a longer activity like clearing and grubbing here is 12 days. You can see that it is fully resource loaded with budgeted units and actual costs or and costs as well, not actual costs. Um, and I also want to show you that I'm using physical percent complete. Now to really demonstrate this setting, we're going to change this from physical back to duration percent complete. Now duration percent complete is always calculated in the background when I progress an activity. And what this setting that we're talking about in the video does is it actually auto populates actual units for me on the resources tab. Let me show you what it does. Okay. So let's say clearing and grubbing has started. I'm going to progress the activity and in progressing it, I'll update the remaining. I'll say there's only six days remaining of the 12. Okay. So you can see that P6 automatically calculates duration percent complete at 50%. That just happens. When I change my durations, I get a new duration percent complete value. But what this setting does is it takes this percentage, 50%, and drives some information on the resources tab. As you can see here, it actually is driving my actual units. So it's automatically calculating actual units of all my resource assignments. So you can see I've got 240 of the 480 and 96 of the 192 budgeted hours. It also updates the remaining units to same similar values, right? And then apart from that, the actual units get calculated as well because units are a multiple of the hours. So that's how this all works. Now watch if I change, uh, let's say I change this from six to four. So there's only four days remaining. I've done two thirds of the work. You can see actual units now has got recalculated to a bigger value. Okay. So that's what the setting does is it drives my actual units on the resources tab. Now watch just to give you the full demo here. If I turn this off, and I go back to activities and I again make changes and put this back to say six and have a look at my resources. You'll see that the actual units and remaining units haven't been recalculated. Okay. So now that we understand what this setting does, question is, do I want to use recalculate actual units and costs when duration percent complete changes? Here's my recommendation. Probably not. I think maybe any time P6 is offering to calculate things for you automatically, especially actual values, you don't want it to do that. Actual values don't always scale exactly with the duration, right? In this case, this is making sure that my actual units are exactly linear, are occurring exactly linear with the duration of the activity. So if I've I've actually executed six days of work. It's saying exactly six uh, days of actual hours are being executed. But you and I know because we're savvy construction planners that it doesn't always work like that in the field. I can often work six days, but because of slow productivity or things that got in the way, I didn't exactly execute six days worth of hours, or maybe I executed more. So in my recommendation to you is not to use this setting. This setting will also overwrite any values that you put in. And anytime 
duration percent complete changes, it will overwrite your actual values. Let me demonstrate that just so you see the pitfall here that we can possibly hit. So I actually said, okay, we've executed uh, six days or six days of elapsed, but I haven't executed 240. I've actually executed 330 hours. My guys have worked 330 hours. They put in a day of overtime, perhaps. Now, when I, again, make a change to my remaining duration, it overwrites any actual units that I've put in there. So that's another problem spot for us. I don't like any time P6 overwrites values that I've entered into it. So that's my recommendation for you, is don't use this setting. And in fact, make sure it's turned off and make sure that when you're progressing your schedule, you get the real values for actual hours that as they occurred in the field, from timesheets or from wherever you get them, wherever they're logged, but get those, put that information into your schedule to give you a real accurate picture of the number of actual units. And you're gonna find that they are not gonna mirror exactly the duration uh, of the project. So that is what this recalculate actual units and costs when duration percent complete changes setting does for you. I hope you learned a little bit of something here and we've got tons more settings, videos, and other great things coming to you really soon. If you like this one, don't forget to hit subscribe. We'd love to see you add, added to our subscriber list. Happy planning as always, Michael out.